Hello, my name is Mark Blocker. In this segment, we're going to cover how to install a closet rod. Okay, before you actually mount your closet rod, some of the things you're going to want to consider is you want to make sure you've got a closet rod capable of sustaining the weight of the clothes that you're going to hang on it. Uh, a lot of the women's clothes, longer coats, uh, winter overcoats, they can get extremely heavy. Even in a small, short closet, the, the weight of the clothes is absolutely unbelievable. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is you need to make sure that you've cut your closet rod to the correct length to fit in the closet and you're going to need some type of fastener to mount that closet rod too. They have pre-made plastic ones and metal ones. I recommend the metal ones because once again we're going to be dealing with a lot of weight. Another alternative and one that I particularly like is by using two boards to mount it. Uh, once you've mounted the two boards in then you can lay a piece of wood in across the top and it's going to work as a shelf. It'll give you a platform to make a shelf as well. If you want to go with the wood shelf idea, all you'll need to do is bore a hole, drill a hole about an eighth of an inch larger than the actual rod that you're going to be using to hang your clothes on. And on one end, after you've bored the hole, saw through with a chop saw, hand saw, or whatever type of saw you may want to use. And each one of these is going to be mounted inside the closet, mounting one side at a time. First mount this side, install your rod, at the height that you want it at. Remember, make the rod high enough that the clothes aren't going to touch the ground below it. If you take a level and clamp it to the wood, it'll hold it in position. After mounting one side, then using the level, use the other side, and that will determine exactly where to mount that other side of the board that holds that in place. Make sure that you get your clothes rod level. That's important. After you've found the level, Simply mark the other side, put it in. When you mount this, you want to make sure you have it centered in your closet so that the clothes hang in the middle of the closet correctly. After you mount the one side and you've mounted the other side, the rod inserts by sliding it into the hole at one end and it fits down into the notch at the other. The clothes themselves, the weight of them and gravity will hold this in place. And keep in mind, with this type of mounting bracket, you have an instant place for a shelf. Just cut your board to fit in the same size closet and you just lay it right on, now you have instant storage above your closet rod. So you can kind of knock out two birds with one stone with this method. So there's a couple different ways that you can use to mount a closet rod.